Hello and welcome to your 70th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and tonight I want to show you how to enable and disable triggers using T-SQL or doing so with Management Studio. In some cases you might not want to delete a trigger but you want to stop it from firing during a large DML operation for testing purposes. Well, you're in luck. The SQL Server provides you with the ability to disable a trigger, and once you have completed the task, you can re-enable that trigger again. You can do so by using the following T-SQL code that I have right here. This portion will disable, and this portion will enable. That's how you would go ahead and do that, enable and disable with T-SQL, and then if you wanted to accomplish the exact same task, over here in Management Studio, we connect to an instance, we expand our databases folder, we would go to AdventureWorks 2012, we would expand our tables folder, then we would be looking to expand human resources dot department. And then we would go down here, we already had triggers expanded from the last tutorial, forgot to close it, but that doesn't make a difference. Uh, then we're going to go over here to I check modify date is where our destination would be. We would right click on this and go right here to disable and now we will get, alright, boom. Our trigger has now been disabled. Now, what if I want to enable it? Same exact thing, but I just go back here and enable it. There we go. Simple as that. You now know how to disable and enable triggers using uh, T-SQL script right here, this block of code. So save that. It'll definitely come in handy for you. And you also know how to do the same thing as being walked through SQL Server Management Studio. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. I will see you in the next tutorial. And not sure what, what do I got laid out here. Oh, okay. Next time we're going to be diving into replication. So you'll definitely want to check that out. See you in the next tutorial. You know what? I actually realized that I didn't show you the T-SQL code being executed. So, and I, I feel like doing that. So why don't we go ahead and I'll show you and get rid of the enable portion of the code. Now, okay, now let's go back up here and we can refresh. Now we will take a look and we're going to table. We're going to human resources dot department. Ah, and we see the little red, so we know it's been disabled. Okay, cool. So now, why don't I go back over here, and I'll get rid of this piece, and now we will enable it. Command completed successfully. Let's go back up here and refresh. Um, okay, Adventure Works 2012, able. And then resources dot department triggers and we don't see the little red guy. It's been re-enabled. Anyways, I just wanted to show you what it actually looks like when you execute the query. So see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for stopping by.